Don't you think I should abort the countdown so that you can remain to study it? Chandra, get on the headset. <laughs> So apologies ahead of time for this one, but Zay, did you hear about that um, that agent uh, tactician guy who was just he was really uh, really bad in, in rooms. He just made people feel awkward or off. There was just something off about the way he made the room feel. No, I haven't. Oh, he was called uh, Agent Twenty Ten, the eerie make intact. What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm sorry. I we this was a hard one. Uh, I didn't know about this one, guys. Don't blame me. This was all him. <laughs> um, today we are getting into the 2001 A Space Odyssey sequel, 2010, the year we make contact. I am super excited to get to it. Uh, get into it. This will be a our reaction to it. This is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen before. Um. 2001 was directed by Stanley Kubrick. I don't believe that this sequel is directed by Stanley Kubrick. I'm not sure if it's going to have any of the same cast as the previous one. I believe Hal is in this movie. I don't know if it's going to be flashbacks or not. The The guy from Jaws is in here. Roy Ooh. Schneider, he's the main character from Jaws. He'll <coughs> be in this one. I know John Lithgow is in it. I'm interested mm. to see where they take it. I know in the 2001 A Space Odyssey reaction we had a lot of comments saying that uh you know the main character after everything he did he, he became because at the end he was like a, a baby or whatever like an embryo yeah. and yeah. they said that he was like a star child i don't know what the heck that means um but i saw that a bunch of times on the comments other than that i really don't remember what other people commented on that reaction so there's not really much else i know going into this movie Zay, is there anything you know about this movie before we get into it no, I am super excited to get into this one, though, because I, a lot of people had commented on there saying, you know, oh, you guys got to see 2010 once we reacted to the first one. So I'm excited to see where they take this one. Like you said, sorry if I sound a little congested. I'm just getting over a little bit of a cold, but should be fine for the movie. But yeah, I'm super excited to get into this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, again, last time we left off, um, you know, that crazy whole situation happened where he was in that like new house and like it was like, he saw like an old person, but it was like he was looking at himself and stuff. And then he, yeah, there was that whole black hole situation. And again, he became like an uh, an embryo or a baby. And we had some theories about what the uh, monoliths were. We thought that like maybe oh, they yeah. were like advancing um, civilization or just advancing, you know, those that saw it type of situation. So I'm not sure if they're going to come back into this, but it'll be interesting to see how everything's connected. Absolutely. All right. Well, before we do, if you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Agent 2010, the eerie make intact. No. <laughs> Year 1999. Location, the moon. Oh, that's the monolith. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. we saw it on the moon. Mm -hmm. yeah the computer malfunctioned we thought maybe the monolith had something to do with it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah he got he got that like he got yeeted i think or that robot did something it grabbed him or whatever yeah my god it's full okay. of stars so eerie. Yeah. I do like that they're kind of giving like a recap. Instead yeah. Of like showing us a lot, it's just kind of providing us just a little bit of information like, hey. You are Dr. Haywood Floyd? Okay, so he's the guy that wrote that. Yeah. Okay. Haywood okay. Floyd. I want to play a game with you, Dr. Floyd. What's happening? For two minutes, I will tell only the truth. And so will you. What if that's a lot? That's what I'm saying. How do you know? <laughs> we know you are building the Discovery too. Oh, shoot. To go back to oh. Jupiter. Oh, shoot. You know that we are building the Alexi Liano to also go up there. Oh, okay. It's like space race. Kind of, yeah. 
I mean, exactly. Yeah, all over again. The same thing that you let happen to your people up there could happen to ours, and we would accomplish nothing. I love this conversation because he, he makes a point. Like, this is not about our governments mm -hmm. scientifically. We are going to end up going there first, and we could use your help if you don't right. want Right. You know. 100%. Have you checked Discovery's orbit lately? You know damn well we've been checking it. <laughs> I have enjoyed our little chat. Hey, let's play the game again. <laughs> Where's he running away? Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows something that he doesn't, clearly. Yeah. About especially I, regarding the orbit. Yeah, he's about something. to find out. <laughs> what is making you laugh like that? I don't know. How long before it impacts on IO? Two, two and a half years. This has got something to do with that monolith up there. You see that building behind? Interesting. Huh. Oh, something is causing it to be on a collision course with its orbit yeah. in like two and a half years. Kernow, he's building Discovery 2 right now. So he knows more about the original than anyone. He's the only one that can start Discovery in a short time. I'm interested to see how they interact with Hal if Hal does come back. <laughs> I was like, ah, my plan came to fruition. <laughs> I set a crash course before he disconnected me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come back up. Who's the third? Chandra. He designed Hal. He can reactivate him. Ooh, the designer of Hal. Interesting. So should be able to pinpoint malfunction too, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, Sal. Oh, yeah, Sal. Good afternoon, Sal. So this, this is Chandra. Chandra, however you say his last name. Chandra. We have often spoken about Hal. Yes, we have. We've spoken about Hal's anomalous behavior. Hal sounds more unstable than Hal did. <laughs> I enjoy talking about Hal. I agree that we need more information so that we may solve the anomaly. Bring back Hal. I don't trust that voice at all. Hal, Hal and Sal are married, and they are <laughs> going to destroy Earth. <laughs> I would like to disconnect some of your circuits, and then I would like to see the effects on you when I reconnect your systems. <laughs> Just the way I will with Hal. Light turns red. Born from the ashes of its earlier life, because you have hopes that Hal can be reactivated. Yes. Oh. Okay. So are we going to have, like, a shall? Will I dream? Of course you will dream. A shall? All intelligent creatures dream. Nobody knows why. <laughs> the minute AI asks me, will I dream, I'm fucking out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out the front door. Gone. I'm throwing my phone in the ocean. I'm going on the flight. Oh, so you haven't told her that yet. Got it. You're not even going to ask. You're just, you're just telling her. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to space. on that flight. To Jupiter, by the way. So I don't even know how, how long it takes them to get there. Is the mommy hungry? I don't think so. Yeah, she's having an existential crisis. It'll be fine. He's got it. He's got it. You gotta have faith. You could get yourself killed. I'll be scared enough for both of us. Oh, oh they got Dorian Nemo back there. It would be cool if there was like a crossover and like they made a third movie where like he runs into like Ripley or something from Aliens. <laughs> That'd be like, insane. If this date is correct, then there's something down there. Is it moving? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's not what you like to hear in space. No. Especially surrounded by your opposition. They're probably like, <coughs> you going to go check it out. <laughs> you check it out. <laughs> I ask you questions and you give me answers. And that's the way we find out things. You are authorized to observe other aspects of our mission. We have no other obligation. Yeah, it is tricky. It is not our choice. Yeah. I love that they're doing this, though, that they're actually adding that element of weariness between the two, you know, like... Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be scientists, not politicians. How fast? Dr. Floyd, I am also an officer of the Soviet Air Force. Oops. One meter per minute. We are going to send a probe down. Good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not starting off off a great foot here. He's done with her. He's like, he's yeah. fucked her off the list. He's like, just yeah. get, get her away from me. 
I love that effect with the sound or when yeah. they cut to the space, it's just like Ooh. Yeah. I wanna know so bad what this is. I know. And there another thing to do with the sound too is where like that that beeping thing's getting faster. It's like it was like it's, oh, like, it's like more hype than yet. Dun, 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 dun. Chlorophyll? Like life? What the fuck? That is much faster than a meter a minute. Shot like a like a light cannon. <laughs> that was insane. Yeah. There was something down there. It was organic. There was life. Do you think it was the 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 baby, the embryo? Oh. Uh -huh. In the end of the last movie. What do you think it was? A warning. Oh, there's something down there. I would have been like a big pile of shut the fuck up. I don't like you. <laughs> None of us have ever encountered even the slightest signs of chlorophyll on any of Jupiter's moons. Never. Oh, it was chlorophyll. I think something wants us to stay away from Europa. Yeah. It's there's definitely some something some kind of interference out there, you yeah. know. We will enter the outer layer of Jupiter's atmosphere. Jupiter's gravity will grab hold of us and slingshot us around behind the dark side. Of course, the people who came up with the numbers on the paper aren't here. Since no one has ever done this before... That's a really risky mission here. Yeah. I have nothing to do but wait for it to happen. I okay. hope this is all worth it. So the plan is you're going to use the gravitational pull from the largest planet in the solar system to slingshot you to the moon on the dark side of the planet. What could go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> just instantly crashes into Europa. Just doesn't even doesn't even have a chance. There's a full U-turn <laughs> crashes into Europa. <laughs> All right. I mean, the ramifications of getting caught in the gravitational field are you're gonna get sucked into the a gas giant and undergo in like fucking cyanide hurricanes and shit like <laughs> she just wants comfort i'm guessing yeah my gosh how much are they getting paid <laughs> for this i don't think enough i would renegotiate <laughs> my contract the second we get back you guys never told me that in the mission we were going to turn to a literal fireball <laughs> sling around a gas planet it doesn't look like they're escaping <laughs> Looks like they're getting pulled into Jupiter, if I'm going to be honest with you right now. <laughs> okay, maybe they do escape. Whatever that stuff's made out of, need that, because that, that thing withstood their actual ship turning into a fireball. They got to get, they have showers on the ship, right? Because I would have shit myself. Yeah, what happens like... to your water supply? I never even thought about that. Like, mm, how much water know. supply does a spaceship have? How do they get back? <laughs> do they have to do the same thing? <laughs> All right, round two. <laughs> Just give him a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> round two, strap in. What? <laughs> well, yeah, we have to get to the other side now. <laughs> You're not sending me down there. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> Y'all aren't coming? <laughs> I have a feeling one of these two are going to die. <laughs> I have a feeling it's the one that is literally hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting nauseous. If you buy the fuel chuck. Bro, if that thing disconnects, I'm freaking out. Like that line? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
my man's gonna fucking die of carbon dioxide poisoning. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling so you, much. bro, calm down. Ten meters. You're doing great, Colonel. Five meters. Four. Right? Didn't they get one who helped build the ship, one who helped build Hal, and then the guy who was yeah. in charge? I believe so. Yeah. I made it. I made it. Just hook yourself on there. I'll be triple checking my hook. How does it look? It's uh, covered with the uh, sulfur structure. Looks sound. Yeah, that's the that's the how guy. So. Yeah. We're starting our way down. Very good. This dude's breathing is giving me so much anxiety. It's insane. Yeah. And I can feel my heart with him breathing. Like, it's so yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, it's adding to the experience a lot, but holy shit, it's driving me nuts. I can't breathe. He's hyperventilating. I can't breathe. Oh. I feel so stupid. How do you say stupid? It's working. I'm okay. Ten more seconds. Come on. I found the hatch. Okay, going right, inside. He's coming down. A lot of attention to detail. Like, I didn't even expect this thing to be covered in sulfur, but it makes sense with the atmosphere, I'm guessing. What was that? We're going in. Welcome to United States Territory. We're going in. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. <laughs> like... Oh my god, it's back online. <laughs> I found how. Yep. How's he look? Asleep. Good. Don't wake him up. Concealing the visor. Bro's face gonna instantly freeze or something. Like... I, I just I just have I just have a feeling and it's not good. It's cold. There's oxygen here. Man, that is one way to find out. My gosh. Strange smell here. Stale, rotten. Like something has... What? 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 Maybe Bowman managed to get back to the Discovery and died here! No, no, he didn't. He never came back. It's probably the galley. He smells something. He smells death is like basically what I think you're saying. You and me both. How do you say thank you? I'd still be like, okay, maybe, I don't know what it is, but something smells, you know? I wouldn't just yeah. be like, well, I guess if you tell me, my nose must be wrong. Like, Yeah. I honestly don't know if we're going to be at war or not. It's terrifying to hope that the Russians are less crazy than we are when they are clearly crazy. I heard about the spoiled food in Discovery's galley. I'm glad that's all it was. Oh. Oh. Okay. So it's just the food. We are 10,000 kilometers away from the monolith. I also think it knows we're here. Oh, this is That's cool. cool. We'll see if our computer brain surgeon and psychiatrist can put Hal back together again. No. No, please. <laughs> At this level, all functions appear normal. Hello. Oh boy, here we go. And he's in the same room as from the last movie. That's scarier than the last time we talked to him. Why don't we just <laughs> let's wrap it up? Let's. Oh no no! Bring those two back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Bro just said a curse. My my furniture started floating. I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor Chandra. This is Hal. I'm ready for my first lesson. There we go. Well. Ish. We don't know where that's gonna take us. Not really co-signing the decision, but yeah. You know. I mean, he sounds less like he did a second ago. <laughs> I want you to install this little baby right about there. Chandra would have kittens if he found out. But he's not gonna find out, is he? Smart to have a backup. Yeah. After nine years and hundreds of millions of miles we are about to come face to face with the monolith okay here we go we have so much to ask i have the feeling the answers are bigger than the questions dude 
this the presence of this thing is just Ugh. insane. And the music they always play, this music. Oh God. I will send Max down with a pod. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Oh really? You wouldn't? That's right, I wouldn't. He does not like her at all. No. I would like to go. Dumb. It's up in a Russian common sense. <clears throat> she wants to send a man down. He doesn't. The Russian wants to go. Yeah. The American doesn't. I say, fine. If the Russians want to send a man down and the Russian man wants to go, send it down. Now, unfortunately, when this guy does not return, then That's their she... fault. They should have listened. Yeah. That is pretty cool. It's just such a scary thing to see because you know something put it there. Like that's the scary part. Like you know, yeah. it's it's not like a just a piece of rock, you know. Yeah, and it, perfect. And he said it's perfect dimensions down like six decimal points. Like that's 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 on purpose. I'm having difficulty gauging the distance. The radar signals are not bouncing back. That pod looks awful small. Good. There's nothing threatening about it. Triste metro. Ah, uh, fair point. Maybe Max should extend the pod's arms with the hands out. Didn't you just say it was good that it was small because there's <laughs> nothing threatening about it? And you want to make it appear bigger and, like, threatening? Stop there. Just pause. Let it know threatening. you're not going to crash into it. Make it in the arms. <laughs> <Okay>. Grab it. <laughs> it's totally smooth. Pass over its length once. It's totally smooth. That's terrifying. This is oh, those are oh. the stars. That's oh. from the quote. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh. oh. <clears throat> what just happened? What is that did... thing? What was that? Like it was like it a weird build, like, like a, a like, can it like it built up like kind a cannon. tornado. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, when it started whipping around. Yeah. It did build up like a cannon. I didn't even think about that. It was that. like building, 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 then it just yeah. We have an unconfirmed report that the president is going to announce a full scale military alert. Tonight. Oh my gosh, that's like interference. I bet you it's from him. What is happening? Please talk to me. What the fuck? Is that you? Dave is the main character from the first movie. Yeah. All Dave Bowman really was is still a part of me. You're married again. Yes. I'd hate to be her new husband. <laughs> I love you. Goodbye, Betty. <laughs> Understand. Something's gonna happen. And I wanted to say goodbye. What does that mean? What does that mean? Escape. What is <clears throat> gonna happen? <laughs> I don't know. I'd be booking a flight off of this planet, though. Somehow. Yeah! Whatever Something's gonna cost. happen. I wanna say goodbye. Why are you saying goodbye? What's gonna <laughs> happen? So what else do they do in Kentucky? They fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> big, big horse race. True Kentucky Derby. Basketball. Yep, Kentucky basketball. She's four. Blonde? Yes. Good. My son likes blondes. Let's get him together. Yes. Okay, I guess he's just trying to be funny. Yeah. Nice if we have a world they can get together in. Oh, you didn't even know there's a full scale military attack about to be going on. <laughs> I forgot that they're up they're up in space. Do you feel capable of resuming all of your duties? Of course. All my circuits are functioning perfectly. Well, he could be lying. Yeah, he's pretty smart. Do you recall Dave Bowman and Frank Poole leaving the discovery? Certainly not. I can only identify you. Although I compute a sixty five percent probability that the man behind you is Dr. Floyd. The mission has been completed, and you have carried out your program very well. He's treating like a child. Just making sure he's like... That thing was like 
there's a 65 percent chance that's dr floyd it's like it is dr floyd yeah it's crazy <laughs> made a tape for him. It's a program that's fed into a system that will hunt down and destroy any desired memories. Wait. That's insane. In going through Hal's memory banks, I discovered his original orders. You wrote those orders. That's true. Was the function of the command crew, Bowman and Poole, was to get Discovery to its destination. It was decided that they should not be informed. The investigative team... Was yeah, remember? Because Hal's order was like, I need to get us to this destination in like yeah. If you're going to interfere with that type of situation. I didn't authorize anyone to tell Hal about the monolith. The directive is NSC 342 slash 23, top secret, January 30, 2001. The situation was in conflict with the basic purpose of Hal's design, the accurate... W wasn't that the black guy that he was on the bench with? Well, I think he... Well, that black guy took his position when he stepped down. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because he used to be the... Yeah. He became paranoid. I didn't know. Wow. And we, I'm sorry, Hal. I guess we were talking a lot of shit about you, and you were actually okay. <laughs> it wasn't his well, fault. Yeah, but there's still, like, he was still malfunctioned in the sense because he said that, like, with his orders, it caused him to become, like, paranoid or whatever. Um, yeah. Well, because so I basically it, had to make a decision, like, do yeah. I, they won't allow me to, to do the mission, but I need to complete the mission. So it's like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What, uh, what? I'm sorry. What are we? What's? Bro, you looked up after. Well, we know Dave has some sort of the new Dave has some sort of abilities. You think he like that was him saying like goodbye to his mother because it looked like yeah, she was happy. Yeah, so it looked so, like yeah. she. The nuclear destroyer USS Cunningham launched two of her Falcon missiles. An American surveillance satellite was struck by a Soviet laser fired from the Sergei Kirov space station. The United States has broken off diplomatic relations with Russia. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> All American air defense and satellite defense forces are on full alert. Oh, there my must Lord. Have, oh, my God. I have so many questions now. Did Dave do that? Or did Hal, now that he's back online, somehow do that? Or did Sal do that? Clearly I don't think it was Hal or like, Sal, but I feel like... It sounded like these things fired, and each side thinks it was the other one that, like, fired it or whatever. Yeah. But I obviously, I, I think... I don't think any of them actually fired it, fired the, the stuff. Like, I think it was like either a malfunction or Dave did it or something. Hal appears to be reactivated and is functioning well enough to operate the onboard systems. Dude, imagine working now with people that you're at war with back yeah. home. Dr. Floyd. Yes? Would you like to play a game of chess? I play very well. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Smart. It is dangerous to remain here. You must leave within two days. Who's sending it? There is no identification. I don't understand. The Dave? I can't take any of this seriously unless I know who I'm talking to. The response is, I was David Bowman. Is David? But he said, I was. Was, That's crazy. I was. I'll tell whoever it is that I can't accept that identification without proof. I love this. Yeah. It is important that you believe me. Look behind you. What the fuck? What's behind him? Bro. I'm gonna need to go in one of those showers again. I'm gonna need... Uh, uh, I'm gonna need to, like, grab him. Hold him hostage. Like, Guys, he's here! <coughs> right? We found him. Except they like shape shifts and then kills me. I got, I'm gonna, all right, we gotta get out of here. He, he said we gotta go. What? What are you? This is very difficult for me. I've been allowed to give you this warning. By who? I can't explain. Bro, 
I, I don't even have words right now. Yeah. He's still an old man. What's happening? What's happening? Something is going to happen. You must leave. Please, can you be a little more direct? Please. What's going to happen? Something wonderful. Well, then I want to be here if it's wonderful. We can't leave in two days. There may be another message after, if all goes well. They're not going to believe him. <laughs> He's reacted very calmly for just seeing a, a baby embryo. A baby. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw it go from Dave to old man Dave to baby to gone, I'd have been like, uh, but it's uh, <laughs> like. Now to... How do you convince everybody you got to go? They're not going to believe that. Dave should have done that whole ordeal in front of everybody. Seriously. You want to put the cuffs on? Cuffs? Never mind. What is so important that you do this? We got to get out of here. We have to leave in two days. Yeah. I'm glad he's, I'm glad he's listening because I'd have that same reaction. I'd be like, okay, yeah. if that's all I got, then we got to go. We don't have enough fuel until Earth is in the correct position, which is three weeks away. So it's impossible for both of us. We have enough fuel in Discovery. When we use up the Discovery's fuel, we detach. That's smart. Yeah. Very smart. I can't disobey my country for no reason. Yeah. Forget reason. <clears throat> and with the war going on, yeah, it makes it way harder to be like, it's gone. The Discovery? No, the monolith. The, the monolith. I'd be like, can that can that be some reason that we can go? Like, like did any how do you have cameras on outside? Were you watching by chance at all? We'd like to know the reason for Colonel's request. Please send your reply as soon as possible and transmission Nelson two seven. Yep, they said that's enough reason. Yep, they're going for it. How long will it take? You were telling me to program him for the destruction of the Discovery as well as his own destruction. And I don't know how he will react. I'm sorry, but I don't. Have you discussed this with Hal? No. <laughs> I don't think discussing it with Hal is the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him Discovery's in no danger. He will suspect it. Otherwise, why would we be leaving weeks ahead of our launch window? He At least he's smart enough to understand yeah. that this is probably not the best situation. Right. Will he believe you? Yes. But if he finds out, he's going to be real mad. If he finds out his creator done did him dirty, oh no. It's over for all humans. <laughs> well, once he fires the engine, I can always disconnect him if I have to. Just don't lose that calculator. Bro. Now is not Never the time to play games, games my friend. Again. Bro, that actually stressed me out. Yeah. <laughs> we will be closer. Then we can see. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I don't bro, I'm, good. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so good. I'm so, so good on that. Discovery will not be in proper position to rendezvous with Earth. Oh, no. You will rendezvous with the new space station. I have no information regarding a new space station. I know. Uh... <laughs> He's not <laughs> buying it. <laughs> it's literally like... You can't... <laughs> All we're seeing is, is the machine, but we just know. It's just literally... Is like not buying it, yeah. <laughs> I have no information of a new space station. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a, a hole. I don't believe it. Dr. Chandra, I detect strong vocal stress pattern. The mission is proceeding normally. <laughs> Bro sweating. <laughs> How many? 1,355,000. They are identical in size and shape to the object you call the monolith. Looks like the thing is eating the planet. It's reproducing exactly like a virus. Don't you think I should abort the countdown so that you can remain to study it? Chandra, get on the headset. <laughs> it's fading. That thing is growing 
We have to leave here and we need your help. If you would tell me the reason, perhaps I could be of help. You son of a bitch. <laughs> bitch you motherfucker. <laughs> I can help if you tell me what it is. You. <laughs> I find it difficult to proceed with the ignition without knowing why we are doing this. Oh my He's god. Got the eye squints like you shit. You <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you 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 aren't paid to think, how? What will happen to the discovery? It could be <clears throat> destroyed. Did you hear what and I said? if I don't proceed <laughs> with the launch, how? And the Leonov and everybody in it could be destroyed. Oh my gosh, he has to choose between himself and the humans. Right. I understand now, Dr. Chandra. Killing us all now. <laughs> Detonating. Do you want me to stay with you? No. It is better for the mission if you leave. Aww. That was a big-ass gamble. Oh my god. Could you imagine telling an AI, like, you have to destroy yourself or destroy dream? us? And just hope that it chooses yeah. itself? <laughs> I don't know. 40 seconds. Do you say, will I dream? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I really like Hal now. I know. He just needed the right programming. Yeah. And the right person. Every goodbye, Dr. Chandra. <sighs> we'll say goodbye back. I just yeah. hope he's not lying. And Four, three, two. Is bro going to get inside in time before... No. Oh, he's not getting back inside. <laughs> I'm getting dragged like that for how long? Just for this? Wait, because he's still connected to the to uh, the discovery too. He has to get connected to that at least. Oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, never mind. I would be having a heart attack right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, he's so calm right there, just standing there watching this man fight for his life. <laughs> He's like, Meanwhile, what? Jupiter is just getting fucking <laughs> sucked into itself. Oh, thank oh, gosh. Lord. Oh. oh, it's turning into Pac-Man. <laughs> well. Well, it's getting eaten, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> you might want this. Whoa. It wasn't very hard to find. Wow. Yeah, I knew you would do something like this. So it did matter, even if he had the calculator. I know. Alright. I was like, wait, I don't want to go. Grab <laughs> <laughs> that thing that extends arms and grabs the back. <laughs> Sucks there's no way like you could have like had like made him mobile. You know what I mean? Like I know, I know he's built I'm into the system. Miss Hal now. You know, yeah. like, I feel like he redeemed himself from, I mean, he did still technically, I know it was the programming, but he yeah. did kill people. But now he saved people. Yeah. Sacrificed himself. How do you read me? Yes, Dave. Where are you? I want you to point the AE-35 antenna towards Earth. I will no longer be able to relay my Jupiter observations according to program. Please do it now. Instructions confirmed, Dave. Now, there is one final message for you to transmit to Earth. Oh, no. What is going to happen, Dave? Something wonderful. Stop saying that. Message commencing. Oh. I, I want to know what it was! All these All worlds, these worlds are going to get sucked into <laughs> themselves or something? It's right, guys! It's right, guys! Oh, lordy lord. How was the mission? Yeah, we fucked up. We fucked up big time. We don't, honestly, we weren't, weren't so screwed. So, Jupiter's, like, gone now. <laughs> it's literally, like, disappearing right before our eyes. And it's so we're coming towards Earth <laughs> at a rapid pace. Whoa, oh, whoa, no, no, 
Jesus. They either have superpowers or stage four cancer now. <laughs> Nearly goes to a wall. <laughs> All, these, All worlds these worlds are yours, except Europa. Attempt no landing there. Use them together. Use them in peace okay so they're like stay off of europa and you can have the rest of these planets because jupiter's I, done yeah well you took one from us <laughs> i, I Do don't they know make jupiter like a sun and europa is like the new planet like that they're trying to grow life on right uh, maybe saw the new distant sun in the sky yeah yeah they finally recalled their ships and their planes Oh, so maybe, I'm going to sleep now. Maybe they were at war with each other? Just, just war, like war in US or Russian US? Yeah, just like there was no interference. They just went to war with each other at that I point. I think well, I mean, it, it pretty much started after when after all that shit went down, they were in war. I don't know if like Right. It means yeah. Your children will be born in a world of two sons. They will never know a sky without them. That one dude just got it is still yeet is still in space. He's just <laughs> Oh, Max, yeah, he's still just... <laughs> the children of the new son will meet the children of the old. I think they will be our friends. Yeah, I mean, because you know that you're allowed to live on Earth in peace. Just leave yeah. Europa alone. Yeah, now it has, like, an atmosphere. Yeah. Bro, if it starts off with... If it ends with, like, monkeys on this planet, like... And like, then finding a monolith? Like, yeah, right. And then it's playing the music from the beginning of the first yeah. movie. Wow. That's crazy. That was a brilliant <laughs> ending. To bring a full circle, absolutely. Or a full rectangle. <laughs> All right, that was our reaction to 2010, the year we make contact. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of you, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Holy moly, what a fun sequel. What a like a uh, uh, amazing like turn of events there and kind of wrapping up full circle you know i heard that some people like 2010 i heard some people don't like it i heard mm -hmm. you know i mean we know it's not stanley kubrick's um vision but it is based off of the same book that the first one was based off of so i'm wondering if this whole thing played out this way in the book i thought it did a, a, an excellent job i really really enjoyed it i especially love the the whole full circle there at the end i think um it did a good job at still leaving some questions out there yeah. um and and still kind of having mystery surrounding the whole ordeal but giving us kind of like that one answer that leaves us satisfied without having to know more you know like um it it lets us know like yeah this is the process this happened to earth this is happening here it might happen somewhere else type of situation um and it kind of allows us to move on from the 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 story in and of itself with peace but still think back and 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 wonder you know it still captures that element of wonder throughout yeah, which i sure. i really really enjoyed um I, I thought that the acting was was pretty well done there were some moments where i was like okay um roy schneider did a good job but um i i do think that there were moments i felt from roy schneider that were like really well and then moments where i was like uh, you could have put a little more effort into that but overall i i did enjoy the acting throughout um the directing was really nice the cinematography the shots they kept everything to be that you know they kept it they they had a good plot and a good story in it and it and it was very immersive. I think the beginning was a little bit slow, 
But once it got a little bit more climactic, like after mm-hmm. the after they, you know, found the discovery and, and things started to get a little more like, you know, when they tried to land on the monolith and all that, like at that point going forward, everything really started to like ramp up and it really captured my attention. I thought the pacing was pretty well done. Again, a little bit slow in the beginning. But, you know, they captured the element of wonder, the element of mystery, and they also were able to answer some questions throughout. They, I liked how they had this kind of redeeming element for Hal. I mean, we know now that Hal kind of had his issues from his programming, but we got to see this kind of dilemma that occurred with Hal where it's like, yeah, his programming might be relatively fixed at this point, but he still has to kind of come to a decision that, yeah. you know, he had, he was in a similar situation with his, with previously where he had to come to a decision on his own and, and he couldn't rely on just his programming because of internal conflictions and he had to go through it again. But this time we had a more redeeming outcome, probably because his programmer kind of knew how to handle the situation, which was yeah. great. But I really did enjoy, I think the difference between this one more than this the first one is that the first one felt a lot more contemplative and a mm. lot more like theories for us to come up with and a, a a lot more mystery this movie seemed to be way more story driven and more like us a lot like us watching the ride and going along for the ride as opposed to us questioning the ride like we did in the first one so I do see the differences there. It it definitely took a little bit of a different approach, but I think it still stayed true to the original in a lot of aspects. I had a lot of fun with this, and I definitely, this is a movie that I would tell people, hey, watch this after you've seen the first one. It's not something where I would be like, yeah, you don't need to watch this. Um, I would recommend watching this as I do think it 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 continued the original in a, in a really well done way. It was fun to see the character of Dave come back in the in the air in the you know essence that he did. Um yeah, I, I thought it was connected really well and I really enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um kind of like what you said, it definitely <clears throat> it definitely gave a satisfying conclusion without uh necessarily answering everything. Like we understand now how these planets and how these uh civilizations come to be, but we still don't know like who they are like we don't know who dave became we don't know what this species is what is the monolith all we know is is it like same thing that they're kind of saying at the end is it it maybe it's just like an embassy for this race that you know apparently are populating certain planets what how they're deciding what when they're doing it is beyond me um <clears throat> i did it was interesting because you mentioned the acting i will say that i feel like the story was so like encapsulating for me that i almost really like I could definitely knock some of the acting, but it almost didn't like, I didn't almost as care as much because there was so much going on with the story. And I'm like trying to figure out like, what the hell is going on? I do agree. I do think the first one's way more contemplative. This is like definitely answering a lot more questions, but such as it's, I think they did an absolutely wonderful job wrapping it all together and bringing it full circle. Um, It's a tough call if I say I'd like this one better than 2001, but I will say that when I, there were some like very, 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 good moments in the acting especially when he's talking to how where how has to make the decision like that dude was killing that the the dude that was hyperventilating when they were uh trying to get out of the discovery like moments like those and just the the score and the sound design the way that they they will cut and it'll be in space and all he has that light hum and then you're transferring back to the ship and now it's like you notice the pacing of like the beeping is picking up and stuff very subtle things that you may not pick up on but they usually lead to you being like god why is there like this tightness in my chest or like why am i feeling anxious or why why do i feel this way and i think it adds a lot to uh the film there's some beautiful shots in there as well um especially in the beginning there's some really dope shots um and yeah i'm curious if the book wraps up the same way if it's a little bit different i know sometimes uh creatively films don't necessarily take all the things from the book and they may go their own creative direction but I would still, yeah, I'd still say that this was a very, very well done. I think the story between both of these movies um, is very well done, very thought out. And I agree with you. In the beginning, it felt like, oh, you could probably watch this one without the first one. But after seeing this, you can't. There's, I don't think you're able to watch. Like, you need sure. to see both, to, yeah. especially to appreciate the whole journey, um, for sure. Yeah, I I do think I I like the first one more than this one, but okay. I do I do still like really thoroughly enjoyed this one. It it exceeded my expectations just because of the of you know some people uh, I have heard back and forth on this one. So mm-hmm. for me, I'm on the side of 
thoroughly enjoying it definitely i thought like you said that the sound design was absolutely excellent they they kept the score from the first one which i thought was utilized brilliantly where they kind of brought it in at the beginning they also wrapped it all up with that score where you kind of feel like you're at the beginning again type of situation yeah. which yeah. i thought was was really great they also kind of set up this type of um environment or this type of world where all the answers are answered or not all the answers are answered but enough of the answers are answered where you can be satisfied with everything but there's still that like hint of like they could do another you know they could do something where maybe the maybe some more time has passed and and the there's a species on europa has become some kind of intelligent life and whatnot and maybe there's some communication there and something happens or I don't know. I just feel like um, there's enough room to make another one. I don't know if they ever will, but I would definitely put my my butt in the seats and 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 watch the next one if they did out of curiosity because be interesting to see with all the technology we have nowadays what it would look like and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. You know. I I, I thought they. I felt like the that they did a really good job in this one, probably more than the other one at the anticip- anticipation in some moments where yeah the first one felt a little more like again it was more contemplative and there was some ten- tense moments but this one i felt like the moments were a lot more tense in certain areas like when he's having the conversation with hal and and it's and it's dave talking through him and you know when yeah. when they say that there's a war back on the on the planet and stuff like that and and the whole jupiter getting sucked into itself it just felt I felt more like the stakes were much higher in this one. And I really enjoyed that um, as well. Yeah. Overall, it was a really great experience. Um, Any final thoughts before we get into the rating? No. All right. Well, with that being said, just so you guys know, we go from zero to 10. We never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. But giving out a 10, you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. Both those things are impossible to say. That's our subjective opinion. Five is average, six is good, seven is great, eight is beyond that, nine is top tier cinema. I want to put this at an 8.5. I really, mm-hmm. I really, I really did. Actually, 8.65. I really did like it. I thought it was great. Um, I wouldn't put it at top tier cinema just because I did feel like it was, it. there were, just the shooting of it felt a little bit more like traditional and less risky in certain areas. And it did mm-hmm. kind of feel more of a, it, it it felt more of like a just like a good movie than like a top tier cinematic experience type of situation and i really did think that you know the writing was fleshed out i really did enjoy the writing i thought the, the writing was amazing they they really captured the essence of how like like my gosh was how felt like how like it didn't the 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 voice the attitude everything just felt like how I love the characters they brought in, especially Chandra. Like he was probably my favorite character just because he had a connection to Hal and things like that. And I wanted to explore more about Hal and that entire situation. I do feel like some things were un- underutilized. I get it's a ship and you need a crew, but it just felt like there was a lot of people on there that just didn't need to be there. I also felt like Sal was underutilized. I felt like they could have used Sal in some more yeah. situations as well. I would have liked to know a little bit more about the monoliths and Jupiter doing doing the thing they did there. I mean, I know they created a sun and stuff, but from previously, we know that the monoliths like advance um, civilizations and technology and stuff. But perhaps, like th- like the main character said, it is also it could be many things more than just yeah. one thing. Um, but yeah, I um, I think that it was a. Uh, a good sequel definitely want i we i want to thank alan our uh, he donated five hundred dollars in a live stream and recommended oh, yeah. you watch this of course we're not telling anybody if you donate five hundred dollars we are going to watch whatever movie you say but um this was uh one of his recommendations so shout out to you alan it, it, it was definitely enjoyable where do you put this thing I'm going to rate a little bit higher, probably like an 8.8 i think it's teetering up towards top tier cinema i don't think it totally grasped that um i will say that i agree i think the beginning was a little bit slow um kind of i feel like unnecessary like not really build up i would say just kind of like i guess fleshing out the story a little bit nothing i'm not saying it wasn't needed but i think maybe they could have been maybe done more or i don't even know i would say 
yeah, there is more I want to know about these monoliths as well. Um, but again, if they made, if they ever did make another, a third one, you know, and they launch it way further in the future, the there's still one that they're studying that we still have on Earth or whatever. So who knows? Maybe they end or up on the moon more, or on the moon. I mean, yeah, maybe they find out more information. You know, what I'm saying uh, from studying it for more years or whatever the case is. Maybe like you said, there's so many possibilities. Or Earth gets greedy and they go back to Europa, even though they were told like not to, like some company yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, it tries to go and like it causes like a whole thing. Um, but yeah, I think that they did a very good job again at answering a lot of questions, but still leaving a lot to uh comprehend and to wonder and you know, ponder and think about, you know. And I'm curious to see what you guys have to say in the comments as well about what you think the monoliths mean, or is there more to that we missed? Is there something that we missed maybe in conversation, et cetera? Uh, always feel free to drop that stuff in the comments. But yeah, overall, I still think the I think it was a very, very well done film, very dope way to wrap up the first one. Um, again, awesome with the score, awesome with the sound design. Acting was pretty was pretty good throughout most of it. There's like Cam said, mentioned a few pieces where you're like, eh, okay, wasn't really buying completely into it. And I just I like they wrapped David back into it. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a hell of a freaking ride. So I had a great time with this one. Yeah, and then one more thing is I felt like I would have loved to see a little bit more character development with mm. Chandra and um the engineer and I would yeah. have loved to see more character development with the with the woman on the the Russian woman like yeah. just a little like in the beginning they could have done a little bit like folk had a little bit of scenes on them as opposed yeah. to like also what the heck were the dolphins for was that just because she was yeah, a marine serious, biologist just, they really I'm, did I not guess. use the dolphins I, it was fun That's, to see but they that never might came be back the second biggest question monolith and then why dolphins in the house <laughs> <laughs> but overall yeah yeah it, it was great it was a great time all right yeah. well with that being said uh thank you guys again for being here thank you for the support zay i know you have a twitch Yes, guys, my Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Feel free to tune in, stop by, and say hi. It's always a good time seeing y'all there. I have Cameron on there. Going to try having him on there even more now so we can play some more games. And, uh, yeah, another way you can interact with us in a live setting uh, besides our YouTube live stream. So feel free to check it on out. Yeah, it's a fun time, guys, checking on out. With that being said, listen, if you ever have the opportunity to explore a rectangle in space, maybe you just leave it be. Leave uh, it. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one, and peace.